Hello, so what's going to into a playthrough today? I'm going to tell you the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky. Way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven that, where the stars live. It's the sanctuary of Star Haven. There, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod. Which is the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered Star Spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into the story? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa. No, you mustn't do that. Yeah, now let's try using it. <laughs> Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! I just love this intro so much. Wow, we did it! That was a piece of cake! Wahaha! Star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Anyways, so here's the proper introduction. What's going on guys? Welcome to a new playthrough on this channel of Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. A childhood favorite of mine that I've wanted to do on this channel since the very beginning, and I feel with the upcoming release of the Thousand Year Door remake, I feel it's finally time to look at one of my favorite RPGs, and probably one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64. This was a very late stage N64 game, meaning it came out in like 2001. I think Mario Party 3 came after this, but like... I will say like, um, this game isn't exactly like a product of its time and like some other games in the Paper Mario series, but that's a story for another day, but like... I want to say that both this game as well as Thousand Year Door is probably one of the most replayable games I've ever had. Like, I've beaten this game like maybe 20 or 30 different times in my whole life. This will be a 100% playthrough, and I will uh, go into more what this is later. So, um, yeah, we're going to watch this intro. This is kind of the game's demo, and we're kind of we're going to kind of see what this game kind of is like. There's the uh, there's uh, one of the air main areas in the game, but uh, we'll get to that later. I wouldn't say Paper Mario is kind of an overexposed game, so I'd say this is a different kind of playthrough. Instead of the usual, I will do the usual informative commentary on how to get through this game 100%, but I will also show my personal recollections of how I uh, experienced some of these areas and how I can, how I like some of the areas in this game, how I don't like some of the areas in this game. I don't know, I kind of want to make this playthrough my own personal recollection, Paper Mario, like just how I personally enjoy it. And I feel with an upcoming remake for the Thousand Door, I feel it's finally time to check out this game. So, uh, yeah, let's actually, uh, get, now we get through the demo, now let's get to the file select screen. Now, I'm actually playing this on the Switch port, which means I don't actually have an active file here, but I did two practice playthroughs on a different port. Might as well open file one, so, uh, let's call ourselves Bear as usual. Actually, let's, let's be creative. Bear, um... And let's get a bunch of musical notes. <laughs> yeah, um, let's just, I want to be a little bit creative with the name, so, uh... This, there's four active files, so, um, yeah, so let's just get this game started. Mail call! Hey look, there's Luigi. Hey Mario, we got the letter from Princess Peach. I read it. 
to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. They will be tasting sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. I love this music right here in the introduction of the game. I will also tell you a personal story about how I first got a hold of this game. Basically, I picked up a used copy of uh, Paper Mario in an EB game. This would have been like mid to late 2000s. And like, um, I had a cousin that had this game, but he didn't, he wasn't exactly a fan of it. So I already knew what this game was because I had played it at his house. But like, um, when I got the used copy and heard this song for the first time, I was immediately hooked, let's just say. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Now let's uh, try talking to them. Mario, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? If we talk to this toad. Well, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I bet you could hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Ah, uh, solutions, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? He's come all the way from Silver Region and flies farther north here. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit the Shiver region someday. Hurry up, yeah, Mario. I'll be running up, but there's so much good food here. I'm, I already ate way too much. Take, much take, a little, take a little breather. Well, that's enough for us. I'm hungry again. Let's eat at the buffet table. Now, much like Earthbound, like, Paper Mario has a lot of funny dialogue and a lot of great dialogue, so... I'm not going to talk to, like, every single NPC in the game, but I will talk to, uh, some really good ones. Talk to this lady. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm Taze T. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all of my most delicious dishes. But, oh dear, I got into so many cooking, so, to my cooking, that I had to use up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. So, yeah, she has to go shopping for some more food, so... Also, if you press the Z button, you can do a spin dash. It would be the ZL button if you're playing a re-release. Oh, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hee hee, how cute. Now, much like the Earthbound playthrough, these play this playthrough is going to have some longer parts. Otherwise, this would be a really long playthrough. Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could sing your pretty house forever and talk to the guard. Prince of Peach went in her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. This is the second floor. Greetings, Mario. I'm the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here when you're around. I feel like our kingdom is secure, yep, our future looks bright. I come from a desert town called Bride Right Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous, so cool and comfortable. I didn't get a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I turn to Dry Dry Outburst, I'm going to tell everyone about it. I'm a Normandy mouse, and I come from Dry Dry Desert. I've learned that this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place up my home far away from my home away from home. And if we talk to this guy... I'm here on behalf of the lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for soon as a frost tea. I come from Koopa Village, which is a jar from the road from here. Oh, I just had the honor of talking to Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is. Now, there's a little trick I uh, trick I want to show. Let's talk to this guy. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. Huh? No. Oh, no, absolutely not. I don't think it's very polite to go into a room without asking her first, Mario. I said no, and that means no. You are simply not allowed to go in there. I said no, and that means no. He's gonna say it again. Boy, you're persistent. I guess I have no choice. Hurry up and then no, don't touch anything. And we can actually go into Princess Peach's room. I did not know this until maybe a couple of years ago. What a big fireplace and a big cozy fire. If we look at the mirror, a framed photo of Mario. Her dresses are beautiful, but they all look the same. This is my favorite style of dress. These are some com cosmetics. Mario looks fine without them. Quite a fluffy bed. It looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. If we check the balcony, it doesn't seem to open. If, anyway, so that's all we can really do in Princess Peach's bedroom. It's only a nice little Easter egg. How was it? Did you the inside of our room? So 
we're trying to go in any of the doors, so if we're trying to go in like Bob on Battlefield, uh, or I think that is, no. We can't seem to go in any of the doors. So I guess we have to go to the top floor to see the princess. I miss the trainee, sir. So many guests. My husband being like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. One last toad to talk to. It's nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah, so pleasant. Anyway, so I guess all we can really do now is see the princess. Oh, one last toad. Prince, we've run into private changes now. Go in there. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to save me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. I was getting tired bringing all these guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Should we rock the just to the two of us? It's all the day today, so I'm sure we'll be comfortable out on the balcony right now. Are you come to me, Mario? And it's an earthquake! And we're up in the sky now. We're literally up in space. And this predates Mario Galaxy by like six years. Oh, are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario, it's still daytime. And if I can see stars outside. Wahahaha! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. I wish it was you. It was you who made the ground shake. That's not was it. Whatever did you do? Wahahaha! <laughs> yeah, that was me. I looked at your castle right up in the sky. You're sitting on my castle now. Wasn't expecting. weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! Ah, this castle is now under my control now. Now you obey me. Huh? What? It's Mario? What a shock! Ha! Not really. I expect you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Alright, tough guy, let's go. Alright, this we're gonna be fighting Bowser, which you may be thinking, why the fuck are we fighting Bowser this early in the game? Mario, you can do it. Anyway, so um yeah, this is kind of get you to. This is a test fight to kind of get you basically a game thing. Now, there's jump, which we can jump on enemies. I mean, we don't have any items yet, and we don't have any strategies yet. Those are kind of more for later. Yeah, our jump only does one damage when Bowser claws us and only does one damage. So yeah, like, um, there's action commands, but you're not gonna get them later in the game. It's not like Thousand Year Door where you start off with the action commands. Good old Mario, always fighting, you're a thorn at my side. But today your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven, it's a Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to bring any wish in the whole wide world. And now when I use the Star Rod, I'll face on training team. You can't beat me, Mario. Oh, ha ha ha! Well, how do you like that, Mario? We're, we're in danger. That means when we're 5 HP or less, we're in danger. I'll get more into danger stuff later. Whoa, is that all you got? How sad. You better take some vitamins. That didn't hurt at all. So Bowser can do more damage now that he has to start. He has 3 damage. Yep, just as I expected, Mario. It's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to torture you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh no, Mario, get up! Oh, oh yes, I did it! I finally did it! I've been my own Mario, yes! Congratulations on your victory, Mr. Snitch, that's why you're the king. As long as I have the Star Rod, everything I watch will come true. No one can stop me now. Like the Queen song, I don't know. Well, 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 I'm guessing I might as well get my own Mario. It's only good to anyone now, that's for sure.
Oh no, Mario! Anyway, so we're now on the prologue, a plea from the stars. Now, an interesting fact about the uh, chapter screens, if you wait just a second, it's gonna come eventually. Yeah, it's gonna play a remix of the, Mar the, Super the Mario theme if you wait on the chapter screen long enough. Let him, nice little Easter egg. Oh, thank heavens, he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser is the star rod, now he's mightier than Mario, it's hopeless, all is lost. Everybody just calm down, as long as we can keep it together, there's always hope now. Our fate is in Mario's hands, and we must try to revive him. Gather on everyone, send Mario your power. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Right. It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, this mustache, you know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on, up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! Oh, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goomba! Goombario! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, Star Spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. Sadly, I haven't, had, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to have become the Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits, we wait for you at the summit. And we're awake! Mario, I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. This place, this is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents here are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas and the family are some of the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that. I sure didn't see anyone coming in and out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. Although, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that makes sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Well, I guess we can uh, see what they're up to. If we uh, talk to a... Uh... Oh, Len, thanks, Mario. So nice to meet you, Ma. I'm glad you, so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. Back to him. Hey, Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know how this means for me to meet you, seriously. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest. You didn't open your eyes at all the whole time. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. 
You what? You have to leave right now? Oh, shooting stars have something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quick shoot? I thought the guy was fa the scout was falling. This is not to worry. I have to fix the jeffy. Now, if you go to these, these are save blocks. These are kind of, these are the main way you save in this game. Now, if we go in there. Oh, Mario, how de hello, dear. You made me call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Ho, ho, ho. Have you already met my lovely grandchild? Lovely sweet. It's a little Goombario, and she looks just like I did when I was young. Ho, ho. We talked to him. Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good, need pull through. Call me Goomba. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I uh, did not uh, read that bit of text. I'm pretty busy making the veranda. Yeah, he can't exactly help us just now. So, um, I guess we have to go all the way out of the house and... Oh, Mario, my dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. So I guess now you can travel to the East Street Star Town, huh? Mario, I'm all about your adventures all around the world. You've been everywhere. And if you always get the best of bad guys every time. You're the coolest. I want to be just like you. I wanted to go with you too, but you know, but daddy told me it was too dangerous. I have to say he's in here and said, what does Goomba say? I want to see. You should know that my son Goomara is a big fan of yours. He, all he does is the level of his train to tell people how he wants to be great like you. I tell Goombar it's all well and good to train, but don't exactly get it. Don't you gain in danger. Oh, what a great job. Sorry to have kept you waiting. This gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. If, it's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I've just met you. But duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beam from King Bowser. You're a hard, already one roll, right? I was smart enough to give me a check on you. What, 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 what's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird, you rude little. I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Kami Koopa. You're seriously like Gruntilla from Banjo Kazooie. You have that same, like, thing about being beautiful. Hmm, I wish I had the time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It's useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can do at this time. Here's a gift from him. <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. I couldn't read that. Um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Amy Cooper, that fiend, do you hear what she just said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. What? Bowser and Prince can reference his speech again? Oh, unbelievable. Now you have to go to shooting Star Summon and help save her, right? Mm, this could be a problem. Yeah, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gonna save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um, oh, there is an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go, go ask him for it, will you? So anyway, if we go over to where Goompa is... And the veranda's no longer there. I like this. I like this animation. He's gonna fall. Now I got we land, so look at this. Because the game's called Paper Mario, he has to land like a piece of paper. I also think this is not only one of the best anime games, I think this is one of the best, the SD4 games, but one of the best art designs, in my opinion. I, it probably makes sense this is a late stage N64 game, but if we talk to Goompa. Oh my back, hmm, who's that? Thank you, Mario. I remember getting great casting noise, but the brain collapsed and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into the air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't go home because that block is in the way. 
This block, this block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Well, where did it go? I was using a fix a veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, no one in here is here. I guess I must have fallen somewhere over there. Come on, we better look for it. Anyway, so I guess, um, we can't break this block just yet because we need the hammers. We have to go find the hammer. That hammer has got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If a quick, if a estimate support appears over here, just press A to search. So, if it's in here, no. Is it in here? No. I know where it is, it's just, uh, is it in here? No. Is it in here? No. But is it in here? It is in here. You found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer attack now. You can smash the yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wait until if you use that hammer, you can break the block to center way. And I'll use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Another save block, so uh, in case you want to save your game. But um, we can hit the, this block right here. We can get 10 coins out of it. You're going to need a lot of coins if you're going to go into 100%. And um, I think there's more coins right here. Yeah, there's two more coins. So we have 15 coins right now. If we hit this tree, we have the dolly, which we're going to need for a little bit later. Oh, well, that's... I believe that's the dolly that Kumbaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be able to try to give it back to her. Some of you people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes one feel like they're looking around everywhere. Hmm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess we need to head for home. Yep! you guys this is my playground idiots no one sets foot in here without my permission nobody well how did Goombario get the uh, dolly up there then did you throw it up there prepare to start crying at the feet of master junior troopa Alrighty, so Mario this is junior trooper he's the boss of the neighbor game Bit of a bully obviously he's more bark than bite you can beat him easily just boost yourself up and don't take any lip I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress now we can actually show the hammer attack so if um the hammer also does one damage because we don't have the action ready yet. Oh, excellent. Good move. Go on. You know, I understand why you don't... I never understand why you don't help in this battle because... I don't know. So yeah, we actually hammer this time. Let's just... Let's just stick to jumping. I think the jump animation is also faster than the hammer. Okay, I'm just getting warmed up. So yeah, the only way you can actually lose this battle is if we go into strategy hit do nothing over again. That's the only way you can lose this battle. Just be careful though, if you run out of its key, it's game over. Alright, you asked for it. Say hello to Jim for your special attack. Full power! So yeah, if you get if run out of HP, it's a game over unless you get an item that we I'm gonna explain later. We're in danger, no worries, there's one more hit and he's dead. Mario, that was a wonderful fighting. You start star points. If you get star points, you're going to be an enemy. If then you save up to 100 star points, you go up a level. I'm going to try to get harder to get star points. So we get 20 star points out of that. Dude, I was winning too. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it. I'll be back. What are you, Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't know. We go over here, we get a mushroom, which is the first one item. You got an item. You use the items again. You can enemies and drag out with things. Your HP, heart points, do the favor, do the other thing. Press C. Press uh, C left to see which, which um, I'm using a Switch controller, a Pro controller, so I can just use Y. But um, if you hit this block, your HP, heart points will fully recover. So yeah, unfortunately, I unfortunately do not have a N64 Switch, Switch controller, which I might have to get one of those at one point. You get the fire flower. Make sure you get the fire flower because you might need it later. Heads up, Mario. I see bad Goombas ahead. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with the jump or hammer, you get the first strike and you have to win into the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Yeah, what he means is hit, hit a first strike like this. If you get a first strike, that means you can you can basically go to the... Uh, if you get a first strike, that means... um. You can get a first attack on the enemy, but if the enemy first strikes you, that means they get the first attack. It's very similar to Earthbound, where, like, uh, if you approach an enemy from behind, you get the first strike, where if an enemy approaches from behind, they get the first strike. It works very similar way. 
These are a spike Goomba. So um, this is a spike Goomba. See the spike on his head? Be careful not jumping on him. You don't have to get hurt. So yeah, you'll definitely take you'll take one damage if you jump on a spike enemy, with, unless you have certain bad we're gonna talk about later. So yeah, these these are the first these are the last the new enemies, except we made the first strike. So uh, these are para Goombas. That's not Mario. The enemy's fine. Your hammer won't reach them. So yeah, you can't you can't attack spike Goombas with jump, and you can't attack uh, flying enemies with hammer. This kind of bit get you used to the game's mechanics. Yeah, we're just gonna jump on them one more time, and uh, that'll be good. One thing I would recommend is um, you want to fight. If you want to do a completionist run, I would suggest um, I would suggest fighting as many enemies as possible so you can get more XP and more coins. You may only want to do it for coins, not much, as much XP, but I would suggest fighting as many enemies as possible if you're going for 100%. And, we're, and this right here, I'll kind of show you the first thing that goes into 100%. There's um, This is a uh, star piece. It's a glowing star piece, what's it for? Star pieces are used to buy badges, and basically 100% is all badges, all star pieces, and all of certain items that we will get to later. But um, yeah, I'll kind of go into more later on what, I, what will go into 100%. Never worry, kids, here I am. Thanks to Young Mario here, I made it back all right. Oh, is this thing locked? Let me open it for you. Koopa, where have you been? You looked outside and wow, both of you in the veranda were just plain gone. Goompa, I was very worried about you, really worried. Sorry kids, I apologize, didn't mean to make you fret, just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I decided to give you something, Moya, wait here a minute. Hey, that doll you've got, that's the one Goombaria lost. There, she was looking all over here, will you back her? Yes. It's my dolly, 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 you're back, thank you so much. I'm so happy, my sweet dolly, don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present for me, look at this pretty glitter. We get a star piece. And take this too. She gives us a kiss. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I would study self-defense by reading books in the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also ex exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show too, I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombaro's head is hard as a rock now, tee hee hee. When he does his head bop move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombario. You're embarrassing me, but of course it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I just wanted to give you some Mario. Get the power jump badge. Mario stops the same Mario needs a lot of attack power. This is a, called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, and you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only, wearing this if, you'll only do this if you're wearing the badge. You better try it at first, putting badge on to take, take them off as a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to use badges to collect during your travels? I'm just going to go through the tutorial. Press start. So, like, I'm just going to go through the tutorial to kind of demonstrate. Here's how I put it badges. Like the badge. Put it on. Take it off. And hit start. Remember, you need flower points to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will absorb not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesaving, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves gain low. By the by, Mario, I heard from, from Goomba. You're taking it up on your pedal to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario can beat one Bowser with hand time on his back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. He has some starting to weigh on me, though. I'll tell you, the lower back pain. Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess Rescue is so cool. I really want to be Adventure too someday. Me too. Oh, 
Here's an idea. Gumbario. Perhaps the time is perfect. You're no longer a child. Even times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go? May I? Goomba, may I really go? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mario, you won't forget this. Gumbario joined your party. Press C down to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Gumbar is also helpful during battles. He can attack with head mock or tell you what an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Way to go, Gumbario! Mario, I know Gumbario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's not time for a nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbye and good making this old Gumba get weepy. Kill so good, Mario. Let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you should take a rest at the tower house. We're gonna leave this area in the next part. So, um, actually, uh, I want to show one last thing. If you time it right, if you talk to Goomba, but make you Mario's AI jump, it's a very specific time that I don't think I'm getting down. Mom, I get to go with Mario. I promise when I come back, I'll bring you back home souvenirs. Oh my, little baby, I can't believe you're going out in the world with Mario. Now you listen, you'll be a good boy and don't cause Mario any trouble. I know, Mom, she's, I'll be good. Good Mario, you mind your mom. Where is fire when it's cold? Don't be thinking about your food. Don't start fights, be polite. Don't bo boast of all the things Goomba taught you, if you already knew them. And remember, and, uh, Mom, you always nags me. Now hush, Mario. Please take care of my little sweet little Goomba. If you actually, um, talk to one of these NPCs while Goomba jumps, yeah, did you hear? I'm going to adventure with Mario. I'll make some part of that, so I just wait. Well, he's off screen. Do you, my son? You've grown to sound Roy. I know you'll be a great help. It's such a good thing. You spend so much time training, huh? Now do your Goomba Pop proud. Also, uh, if you jump, if you get Goomba to jump and talk to the NPC, he'll be in the air, but I couldn't get that to work. It's not fair. Goomba always gets to do all the fun stuff. Mario, when I grow up, can I go on adventure too? Now we're also going to put the power jump badge. We hit the block. Here we go, problem solved. I have a little feeling your road will be lying with difficulties, trying to overdo it. If you want to, yes, stay cold. Calm mind is the wisest. Anyway, so I'm gonna carry off this part of Paper Mario. So next time Paper Mario, we're gonna leave um we're gonna leave Goomba Village and get our adventure started. See you guys then.